You will never be poor again. Now check this out. World Economic Forum believes crypto will remain key technology. Now this is the World Economic Economic Forum family. So like what I've been saying for the past videos, past year, crypto is here to stay and crypto will change many people lives. But let me change what I said of many people, a few people lives. You see, a lot of people sold their digital assets. A lot of people became non-believers. There were a lot of people that was major believers when crypto was in the bull market. But with the market that we are at right now, a lot of people do not believe. So they sold their bags. They stopped accumulating and they stopped looking at their portfolio. Now, this is what the World Economic Forum has to say about crypto while the underlying technology of cryptography and blockchain is a general generalizable to all industries and coordinating activities collectively the building blocks of web3 experimentation at the core of financial services among other sectors continues unabated all right and they're saying despite harness a commonly used uh somehow Comparing crypto with other ambitious tech like the internet and the email, which have also been used for illegal and criminal purposes by bad actors, put in the way of the malevolent actions on the people using the tools and not the tech itself is key in this period for crypto. All right. So at the end of the day, they see that cryptocurrency is not just a... Uh, a tool where you can launder money or whatnot, but they believe cryptocurrency is a great tool to have in the financial system. That's why they call cryptocurrency is the new asset class of wealth. Now, again, if you've been watching these news, executive linked to crypto exchange with them found dead outside his home. Now, a lot of these executives are dying. A lot of these crypto billionaires are dying. They don't know how they are dying, but it seems like, honestly, they are attacking the crypto billionaires. They are attacking probably crypto influencers, people who invest into digital assets that hold large amounts. They want to take them out. Because they don't want you to be more wealthier than the elites. You have to think about it. Executive found dead amid investigation, embezzlement, and stock price man manipulation. That's what they're saying. But could that really be the truth? An executive of the largest shareholder of cryptocurrency exchange, Bitum, was found dead outside his home. He allegedly committed suicide by jumping off a building. While under investigation by Korean prosecutors for embezzlement and stock market manipulation. Now, what do you guys think? You really do think that he was manipulating the market? Or do you believe that the government has something to do with his death? And that's just crazy. You know, uh, the, the CEO and founder of Luna C, you don't hear him trying to kill himself or whatnot. But this all boils down back to Mr. McFay. He said, I got, he, he was like, I will never kill myself. I got, uh, what did he say? He said, I got swapped or something like that. He got killed and he wouldn't kill himself. So there's a lot of things that's going on in the market that you guys have to pay attention. All right. So Dogalon Mars right now as we speak is at 28.11. Yeah, we're down by 0.57%, but that didn't really change anything because right now Bitcoin is at 16.8, Ethereum's at 12.51, and Binance Coin is at 2.55. Now, if you guys have been following the whole XRP, the Ripple lawsuit, Brad Garland House, he says, today is the first day of the 118th Congress. While prior efforts at regulatory clarity for crypto in the U.S. have stalled, I am cautiously optimistic that 2023 is the year we will finally see a breakthrough. And this is the thread on why he says that. 
Um, he he shout out Tom Emmer. You guys need to follow Tom Emmer. You know he's a good dude. He definitely backs uh, XRP and mainly Senator Loomis and so on. They have publicly supported blockchain and recognize the need for clarity. Number two, we're working. We're not working with a blank slate. Prior bills have tried to address everything from stable coins and CEXs, clearer definitions of what constitutes a digital asset security. Also, no bill is perfect, and there like likely never will be one that satisfies everyone. But perfect shouldn't be the enemy of progress. These proposals provide more than a starting point for debate in this new Congress. The stakes couldn't be higher. And as you guys know, Singapore, the EU, Brazil, and Japan all have crypto frameworks, and the United Kingdom is well ahead of the U.S., but the lack of coordinated standards globally continues to push businesses to countries with lower regulatory bars, all right? So basically what he is saying is XRP will be settled this year, and you guys already know, can we get a moonshot to ten dollars or can we get a moonshot to 50 grand per xrp because i know we all are ready to have that flare network to be running so we can mine our flare our songbird our xrp and generate wealth throughout the days now if you guys do not have a ledger i know you guys seen that post by elon martian shout out to elon martian but I do have a discount code down below in the description box below for a Ledger Nano X. I also have a program with Trezor, another hardware wallet. Well, I will be having another link down there so you guys can be able to, you know, get some discounts on these hardware wallets so you guys can really keep your digital assets safe. So once again, thank you guys for watching this video. If you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you again in the next video.